a romanticizing life in the city. Hello, I'm Michaela. Over the last few weeks, I've been seeing a lot of content on TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest surrounding the downtown girl aesthetic. This aesthetic gives off a very warm, cozy Gilmore Girls vibe. And since it's fall, it seems like the perfect time to make this video. I'm gonna be splitting this video up into three sections. The first section is gonna be a description of what downtown girl aesthetic is. The second section is going to be clothing essentials for this aesthetic. And the third section is gonna be a lookbook using clothing I already have in my wardrobe. So what is the downtown girl exactly? According to Aesthetics Wiki, <laughs> downtown girl is an aesthetic that revolves around the romanticization of living in downtown New York, especially in autumn. It contrasts the uptown girl aesthetic and originated on Pinterest, later spreading to TikTok. Where the uptown girl gives old money and is very fancy, the downtown girl is cozy and classic. I've often seen this aesthetic referred to as a mix of Rory Gilmore, 2014 soft grunge tumbler or indie sleaze, and the model off-duty all combined. The downtown girl is cool without even trying. You can see her with her headphones on as she walks to her favorite used bookstore. She just came from a new hole-in-the-wall coffee shop that she found near her apartment. The leaves are crunching under her Doc Martens, and the air smells crisp from the rain that's on the way. Life is simple but nice. She's content. She is the downtown girl. This aesthetic feels very much autumnal and nostalgic to me. It's cozy and warm and makes you want to sit back and appreciate the smaller things in life. While the clothing aesthetic itself is quite nice, a lot of people also want to achieve the lifestyle that is portrayed in these photos and videos tagged as being the downtown girl. They want to live simply and enjoy the little things, such as the joy of finding your favorite artist on vinyl in a used record shop, having their coffee warm their hands on a chilly morning walk through the park, finding a really nice grandpa sweater in the thrift store, reading on the fire escape as music plays softly in their apartment, inviting your friends over to bake while you guys watch Gilmore Girls. The lifestyle that this aesthetic gives off is warm and inviting. It romanticizes a simple life in the city full of art, music, and joy. I can see why it has such large appeal. Like everyone and their mother, I am currently re-watching Gilmore Girls and fantasizing about living a cozy life in a small town and enjoying life's simple pleasures. The downtown girl aesthetic is quite simple, which makes it very easy to style in my opinion. It's a very easy aesthetic to thrift if you don't already have the pieces in your wardrobe. The key colors are made up of neutrals such as black, white, brown, beige, navy, and cream, with pops of colors in the accents such as red and green. Patterns and textures I've noticed a lot while looking at inspiration for this video are lace, small floral prints, stripes, plaid, and corduroy. I've broken up my list of essentials for this aesthetic by clothing category starting with tops. For tops, I saw a lot of graphic tees, sweaters such as like grandpa sweaters, chunky sweaters, striped sweaters, like that, what is it called? Brandy Melville? That green and blue sweater. There's tank tops and crop tops, especially lace or printed camis slash tanks, long sleeve tops such as like printed ones, graphic ones, stripes, Henley I see a lot because Elena Gilbert is like one of the characters that inspires people for this aesthetic. Other characters that inspire the looks for this aesthetic are Roy Gilmore and Bella Swan. And the last on my tops section is Empire Waist Top. For outerwear, I have leather jackets, vests, jean jackets, bomber jackets, and zip-up hoodies. For bottoms, we have jeans, especially like vintage blue jeans, preppy skirts, plaid skirts, pleated skirts, corduroy pants, cargo pants and skirts, midi skirts, brown pants or trousers, plaid pants, etc. For dresses, we have casual dresses, empire waist dresses, and printed dresses like small floral pattern prints. The shoes that are essential for this aesthetic are Doc Martens of like any kind, especially like the boots or like the short ones, but any Doc Martens were Converse, Mary Janes, loafers. For accessories we have messenger bags, tote slash canvas bags, headphones, essential. Headphones are like in every outfit I see for this aesthetic. Little sunglasses, like the little black sunnies. And then like I see simple jewelry, if I do see jewelry at all. I like jewelry a lot, so in the lookbook portion I do have like this necklace and then these rings. I kept it pretty simple jewelry-wise. But yeah, those are the essentials for this aesthetic. 
I see people in videos holding things to their mouth a lot to like mimic a microphone so I thought it'd be funny to use this wand and it is making it easier and more fun to talk to the camera right now at first, I was very worried I wouldn't be able to create outfits for this video using stuff from my closet because usually my aesthetic is like whimsical. But as I looked through my clothing, I was surprised that I was able to come up with quite a few outfits for this video. And by quite a few, I mean 20. I have 20 outfits for this video. This aesthetic is very easy to achieve. Like if I can create 20 outfits when my style is whimsical and Renfair, you can do it too, bestie. Most of the clothing in this video and in all of my lookbooks is thrifted, which goes to show you if you want to try this aesthetic out, you don't have to spend a lot of money to do so. Thrift stores are a great option for trying new aesthetics out in a cheap and sustainable way. Now, let's get into the lookbook.
Okay, that's it for the lookbook portion. I hope I was able to create some outfits that was able to capture this aesthetic well. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite outfit was. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had a lot of fun creating it. If there's any other aesthetics you would like to see me make videos like this for, please let me know in the comments. I hope you guys stay safe and that you have a lovely day. See you soon.